Hi and welcome to yet another Danish video. Today, let's get right to it. It's about a pronunciation mistake which I hear almost every single day. So, here it is. No more excuses, guys. You've got to nail this. Firstly, what is this word? Well, as always, there are a lot of uses, but I'm going to narrow them down to three examples with three different sounds. We have an adverb, a preposition, a prefix and three different sounds, which are, what are they? <laughs> now I have to think, a, a and ow, a, a, ow. <laughs> we'll come back to that. The main point I want to make with this word is never, ever pronounce the F. Forget the F. Do it now, <laughs> please. Okay, so as an adverb, the first sound you could relate to the question and sound in English, a, when you're like confused, when you can't quite hear or understand what somebody's saying. Uh, another way to look at it is the word hey, like hey, how's it going? Hey, take away the H and you have A. But of course in Danish, A. So, here we have some examples where A means off. Here we go. Hvorfor tager du ikke nissehuen af? Hvorfor tager du ikke nissehuen af? Hvorfor tager du ikke nissehuen af? Skal jeg tage mine sko af? Skal jeg tage mine sko af? Skal jeg tage mine sko af? And then we have the classic, a slappe A. And what is a slappe A? Well, it means to relax, right? But literally, a slapper means to loosen, as in a rope. So, when you slap a A, you're slacking off by loosening or Diffusing your muscles was the fun way to look at it. Han har det svært med at slappe af. Han har det svært med at slappe af. Han har det svært med at slappe af. Slap do a. <laughs> yeah. Slap do a. Slap do a. Nice. Some more examples with the same sound. Here we go. A tur a. At tur a. Sticker A. At sticker A. A very common expression when you don't know where something is or somebody is, where they have disappeared to. Here are some examples. Hvor blev mine sko A? Hvor blev mine sko A? Hvor blev mine sko A? Jeg aner ikke, hvor han er blevet A. Jeg aner ikke, hvor han er blevet A. Jeg aner ikke, yeah, you can probably hear some dogs in the background. I can't avoid it. It's so crazy here. Okay, another very common expression I just want to give you is a tear still. At tear a still. And here the sound has changed to an even shorter one. Again, no F. Don't ever pronounce the F. So we're going from A to A. A, A. Almost like the E sound at the start of the English word egg. Come, we play nut te a te still. Come, we play what nut te at te a still. Come, we play nut te a te still. A still matter, a still mill die. A still matter. Nice, so you can hear a a a. Remember this one. So, all the last examples were using this word as an adverb. It's not too important to remember that's what's going on, but just in case you want to know. The next examples were using it as a preposition, and here the pronunciation is just like the last example. Um, however, the word here means of instead of off. Wait, often, yeah. Let's get into it with some examples. Sharma, hi, I'm Massa. Sharma, hi, in Massa. Sharma, hi, I'm Massa. I can slet ikke finde ud af det her. I can slet ikke. Finde ud af det her. Jeg kan slet ikke finde ud af det her. På grund af. På grund af. På grund af. Ved siden af. Ved siden af. Ved siden af. I løbet af. I løbet af. I løbet af. Finally, as a prefix, this means the two letters come at the start of a word and are subsequently part of a longer word. And, just to make you happy, 
This changes the sound once more. With these words, and there are a lot of them, we have a sound something like ow in English, like when you hit your hand or your foot and you go ouch, fuck. Just like in Danish actually, when you say ow for helvo. So, let's get to it with some more examples. But we can ikke lave en aftale uden penge. Vi kan ikke lave en aftale uden penge. Vi kan ikke lave en aftale uden penge. Manden afleverer et hemmeligt brev. Manden afleverer et hemmeligt brev. Man afleverer et hemmeligt brev. Han har nogle afsindige idéer. Han har nogle afsindige idéer. Han har nogle afsindige idéer. I know I said at the start, never ever pronounce the F. And I stick by that. But don't get confused with the super common words like aften and aften smell. Of course, these don't have the same sounds. So don't ever say Outen's mill or outen go outen <laughs> but that's it. Uh, there are the three sounds, so let's review the sounds. We have a a ow. We can maybe make a beat with this. A a ow a a a ow a a ow a. Okay, now I'm being annoying. But anyway, the most important thing is that you don't pronounce the f because, for example, in words like Oliver at Oliver to deliver. I often hear this being pronounced as af. Uh, it sounds totally weird. It sounds wrong. People will not understand you. So it's very important to to get this. That's it. It's not difficult. You just have to remember. Drop the F and pay attention to this word because it's important. It makes a big difference. And just be uh, attentive. Pay attention to how the sound changes. A, E. Now I fucking now I forgot myself. <laughs> One more time. A. A, ow. A, a, ow. Nice. Tusind tak fordi du så med, og vi ses næste gang. Det håber jeg. Hej hej.